hello everyone so today we are going to implement this uh, electric particle effect that works on the character so this is the preview so yes uh, previously we worked on this material that looks like some kind of electric field and we use the same material to implement this uh, electric sword effect and today we are going to use the same material to implement this uh, on characters uh, skin surface effect as you can see here even if i animate the character you see these uh, electric particles stick to the character's mesh right so let's see how to implement this effect today right to get it started let's create a new niagara system from selected emitters so i'll choose this fountain finish i'll call it ns electric character electric character so this is what we have at the moment if I uh, disable velocity and disable gravity force, you can see these uh, particles are spawned in the center. Now, under particle spawn, if I add initialize mesh reproduction sprite, and now we have an option. To add the preview mesh I'll select SKM many now here you see the particles are spawned roughly on a shape of a character so here if I increase the spawn rate something like thousand you can clearly see that the character shape stick to 500 and here also we can change the size of the particle I'll stick to 2 okay now let's test this on a character so I'll add mannequin meshes skm many so make sure to add a skeletal mesh first and then select an animation asset otherwise uh, the particles don't appear for some reason okay i'll choose this starting position now use this add niagara particle system here as for the particle you can assign this uh, particle let me wait let me move the character somewhere else right now you see the particles are spawned on the surface of the character so now instead of these uh, one more thing if I play they don't stick to the character so if i want to want to stick them to the character we can use this uh, mesh but update mesh reproduction sprite so if i use that oh here also we need to give a preview mesh otherwise we don't see the particles and this two. now oh wait did I initially use three no two okay right now if I play you see the spawned particles stay on the surface of the character mesh now 
to get the electric effect here instead of this uh, default material we created this electric field electric field material this one uh, what's the material we used here yeah this instance now let me select that and assign it compile now we it's very small so that's why we don't see much here so we can and initialize particle here let's use a very bright color okay uh, we use the lifetime in between 0.1 and 1.4 previously now you see this uh, electric particle looks too small so i think here under sub view if i increase this i should be able to get a bit larger effect see now it's more visible okay uh, i think it's too big uh here Perhaps a little bit more. Five. Right. Now it looks more like that. Okay. So if I play, this is how it looks. So this is how it looks on the surface. And this is the effect. So if you want to increase the number of particles, of course you can come here change the spawn rate let's say thousand now this is how it looks and also you can obviously add more uh, emitters for example in here we have added some smoke so we can do the same thing for the character also but i think this is enough for today so yeah thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye